There are some movies that every entrepreneur should see at least once, and that's why today we're counting down the 30 best movies for entrepreneurs, brought to you by Watch Mojo. Wait, that's not right. Brought to you by John Fraser. Now let's get into it, but don't forget to comment below how many of these movies you've seen and which is your favorite. Number one, The Founder. You don't build an empire off a 1.4% cut of a 15 cent hamburger. You build it by owning the land upon which that burger is cooked. Ever wondered how McDonald's went from a single store to a global empire? This film shows exactly that. We see the struggles, the successes, and enough burgers to leave you dying for a Big Mac by the time the credits roll. Here you are. What's this? Your food. No, 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 I just ordered. And now it's here. You sure? Whilst at the heart of the film, there's a dramatic storyline of betrayal, the movie is also packed with business lessons, like how you can use systems to innovate and the importance of careful contract negotiations. Ultimately though, this is an inspiring story of persistence. It's a story of a guy with a vision who stops at nothing to make it a reality. And so after watching this, you're bound to be left feeling motivated to go and do the same. Number two, The Wolf of Wall Street. So you listen to me and you listen well. Are you behind on your credit card bills? Good, pick up the phone and start dialing. This film is a wild ride. The unbelievable yet true story of Jordan Belfort's rise and fall, directed by Scorsese with an incredible cast, what's not to love? Whilst the film might not teach you a lot about morals, it's undeniably motivating. The money, the parties, the jets, the yachts, Belfort's journey from nothing to becoming the Wolf of Wall Street is bound to get you excited about building a business of your own and making more money. From a financial standpoint, you are now in heaven. The thing is, it's easy to write this movie off as purely a cautionary tale, but actually there's a lot that Belfort did right. For example, the way he built and trained a loyal team all with the same vision. Jordan Belfort's also now a sales trainer, and in the movie, you can see some of his techniques in action. So amongst the madness, there's some genuinely useful and motivating stuff as well. Number three, the pursuit of happiness. Don't ever let somebody tell you, you can't do something. Not even me. This really is an inspiring film, as Will Smith's character basically loses everything and has to pick himself up and work harder and smarter than anyone else to make a life for him and his son. This movie is perhaps a little more of a realistic depiction of the struggles an entrepreneur will have, and so if you're ever feeling close to giving up because things aren't working, this is a must watch, as it's a reminder you're just in the middle part of your story right now. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you, you can't do it. You want something, go get it, period. I've always strongly believed that personal development and entrepreneurship go hand in hand. And this film definitely has plenty of lessons when it comes to self-improvement and getting that success mindset that every entrepreneur needs. Number four, Limitless. I knew exactly what I needed to do. It wasn't writing. It wasn't books. It was much bigger than that. But it would take money to get there. Limitless is the story of a pill that allows the user to utilize 100% of their brain power, which allows Bradley Cooper's character to become rich, successful, and everything he dreamed of. I was jacked in, booted up. At the end of the week, my brokerage account contained over $2 million. Word quickly got out. The reason this film's on the list though, is that this pill does actually exist in real life. It's called hard work. Sorry. But I definitely find watching someone being so productive and achieving so much is a reminder we do all have the capacity to do that ourselves. The transformation of Bradley Cooper's character is something we can all achieve, and watching this movie might be the push you need to do that. After all, you're always just one decision away from completely changing your life. Number five, Steve Jobs. You can't write code. You're not an engineer. You're not a designer. You can't put a hammer to a nail. I built the circuit board. The graphical interface 
Jobs was stolen. So how come 10 times in a day, I read Steve Jobs as a genius? What do you do? I play the orchestra. Yep, no prizes for guessing that this film takes a look at the life of Steve Jobs, but whilst a few films have done that over the years, this one entirely focuses on three major product launches. So get ready to go behind the scenes of the digital revolution and see some of the brilliance and some of the dark side of Apple's co-founder. And not for nothing, but think is a verb, all right? Making different an adverb. You're asking people to think differently and you and you can talk about the Bauhaus movement and Braun and simplicity and sophistication and Izzy Miyake uniforms and, and Bob Dylan lyrics all you want but that thing looks like Judy Jetson's Easy Bake Oven. As with most movies based on true stories, obviously remember they take a lot of creative leeway and this isn't a documentary, but a lot of people seem to concur this was a pretty accurate reflection of Steve Jobs and the way he operated. And given how influential Jobs was, and how influential he still is to many entrepreneurs to this day, I think this is an important film to watch. And as you watch, keep in mind the famous Jobs quote that the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Number six, fire, the greatest party that never happened. Ding! We're gonna throw a festival, yeah. Within 48 hours, they sold out. These guys are either completely full of shit or they're the smartest guys in the room. Okay, little confession. This is the only entry on the list which isn't technically a film. It's a documentary, but it's the length of a film. And to be honest, it feels like a movie. This is not your typical dull documentary. It's a seriously entertaining look at the absolute disaster that was Fire Festival. Without giving too much away if you haven't heard much about it, Fire Fest was billed as a luxury new festival, which doesn't quite go to plan. However, you've probably heard before that we often learn more from the failures than the successes, which I think is true. But if we can learn from someone else's failures and avoid those mistakes entirely, that's even better, right? There's mattresses all over the place getting soaked. The save yourself mode kicked in. Right, it's a free for all. Having said all that, at university, I did an entire presentation on why the marketing for Firefest was actually genius. Because the fact is that despite the actual event being terrible, they managed to sell all of these luxury event tickets extremely quickly, which shows the marketing was the one thing they got right. And that's because they used a really modern digital marketing campaign, leveraging influencers and social media to the fullest. So as you enjoy the chaos of the festival, watch out for the marketing lessons as those are very useful for any entrepreneur. Number seven, joy. We got here from hard work, patience, and humility. So I wanna tell you, don't ever think that the world owes you anything, because it doesn't. The world doesn't owe you a thing. Everyone loves an underdog story of someone battling adversity, and this movie fully delivers on that. It's got Jennifer Lawrence, Robert De Niro, and Bradley Cooper, and it tells the story of how a real-life entrepreneur, Joy, spotted an opportunity, created a solution, and worked tirelessly to build a hugely successful business. But I was fortunate enough to get on the phone with Mr. Christopher, who I found to be very friendly. Which was surprising because I really haven't found the gentleman in California to be very nice considering we're all in business together. Welcome to the world of business, I guess. It's a great film for entrepreneurs as not only does it show someone building a business, it shows that a good idea alone isn't enough. You have to make it happen. Joy throws everything she can into it, which makes for another motivating movie if you have plans to grow your own business or want to have an impact on the world. Number eight, The Aviator. You want to go to war with me? It isn't me, Howard. It's the United States government. Before watching this film, I knew pretty much nothing about Howard Hughes. But after watching, I was fascinated by him. The description of him is that he was an American business magnate, investor, record-setting pilot, engineer, film director, and philanthropist, known during his lifetime as one of the most financially successful individuals in the world. This movie takes a look at many of those different pursuits, whilst also showing the demons that plagued him along the way. Well, I am only a private citizen, whereas you are a senator with all sorts of powers. But I think this goddamn circus has gone on long enough. I can honestly say that this movie has had an effect on me after watching it. 
Very recently, I made a business decision I wouldn't have made if it weren't for this film. I was gonna be more cautious with something, but I thought back to Howard's entrepreneurial attitude of making his vision a reality no matter what it takes and fully committing and going all in. Because after all, those kind of risks are a huge part of entrepreneurship. And so this movie is bound to help you start thinking more entrepreneurially as well. Number nine, Nightcrawler. But the protagonist, Lou, is actually very entrepreneurial. Number 10 is Boiler Room. Become an employee of this firm, you will make your first million within three years. Boiler Room is another great film about sales with some interesting cold calling tactics. However, there are several motivational speeches about making money, which will probably get you very fired up and wanting to build something huge and successful yourself. If you've seen Wolf of Wall Street and enjoyed it, I'm pretty confident you're going to enjoy this one too. In fact, Boiler Room is very loosely based, a person wanting to make money and be successful can enjoy this. Ultimately though, Boiler Room is a cautionary tale about making the right decisions, which is perhaps an important reminder for any entrepreneur. Number 11, Molly's Game. Do you know how many witches were burned in Salem? How many? None. They didn't burn witches, it's a myth, they hanged them. Whilst this is another true story with corruption and drama at the heart of it, I think this is an underrated film, which shows how 26-year-old Molly Bloom ended up running the most exclusive, high-stakes underground poker game in the world. There's $750,000 on the table. Diego burns a card and deals a turn. A king. There's undeniably several key lessons for entrepreneurs in the way Molly ends up getting to that point. And seeing someone so quickly transform their life and start making incredible money reminds us all of what's possible and how quickly everything can change. However, there's also enough drama to make this a very entertaining film as well. I don't actually hear this movie talked about often, but I think you'll enjoy it. Now, we've still got lots of amazing films to come, but as a little reward, and just to make sure I've still got your attention, Here's Margot Robbie in a bubble bath to explain. This is a clip from number 12, The Big Short. So how many people have you talked to about this trade? A few. There's definitely some interest. Oh, my boss would have my ass. Yeah, no. You crazy, That's Jerry? Not Get lost, Jerry. Fuck you. This movie manages to explain the financial crash of 2008 while still being entertaining. Seriously. But aside from a great cast and some fun ways of explaining typically boring concepts, the movie also focuses on how several people predicted and hugely profited from the financial crisis, showing that there's always opportunities for those willing to look for them. You smell that? What is that? What? What's that smell? The cologne? No. Opportunity. No, money. What's often overlooked is that part of the definition of being an entrepreneur is being willing to take risks. And that's exactly what the main characters in this movie do, all of which are based on real people. They literally bet against the housing market and despite getting mocked and everyone thinking they're crazy, they have the conviction to see it through. This is definitely an insightful movie that will leave you with some interesting takeaways. Number 13, War Dogs. You guys came in $53 million lower than the nearest competition. Oh, okay. War Dogs is another entertaining film based on a true story stuffed with some real life business lessons. So much so that I actually did an entire video analyzing some entrepreneurial takeaways from the movie. But if you haven't yet seen War Dogs, it's the crazy story of how two guys become international arms dealers. It turns out there's literally a public website where the US government lists everything they need to buy. And these guys started small and worked their way up to supplying some eye-wateringly huge deals to the government. There's definitely a feeling in this movie of how the little guys can take on the big guys and win. But as with most of the movies on this list, the story's a lot more dramatic than that. It's got all kinds of tension and drama, and when you remember it's based on a true story, it makes it all the more exciting. If you've already seen War Dogs and enjoyed it, I'd also check out Lord of War for another entertaining film around a similar premise. Number 14, Chef. That got me a knife. He says I love you. What? I love you. 
I love you too. T tell him I love you too. After a head chef is fired unfairly, he decides to start his own business with a food truck to reignite his passion for cooking and goes on a road trip. For anyone who's ever wanted to quit their job and just do their own thing, you're probably going to enjoy this one. It's another film on this list which will undoubtedly make you hungry, but it's a nice family film about following your true passion. I get to touch people's lives with what I do, and I love it, and I want to share this with you. A great detail in this film is how the main character's 10 year old son plays an instrumental role in the business by leveraging social media to help get the business more attention. Overall though, it's a feel good movie that will leave you feeling motivated about starting an enterprise of your own. Number 15, Pirates of Silicon Valley. What's with the pirate stuff? Oh, what do I always tell you? Better to be a pirate than join the Navy. New pirate? Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Steve. I've been up for 52 hours straight. Loyalty. This film shows the humble beginnings of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates building their tech empires. Not only is it an interesting look at their rivalry and origins, it also shows a lot of useful and inspiring business lessons, like how a 20 year old took on a giant like IBM and quite literally changed the world. The ultimate, insanely great fusion of art and science. It's called the Macintosh. This is definitely not the Lisa. As mentioned previously, there have been a few films that take on a similar subject, but this movie seems highly regarded as one of the best and got some really great reviews. But most of all, I think this movie is a reminder of what's possible. It's not too late to make your mark on the world as well, and this film may just give you some confidence and motivation to go and do that. Number 16, The Social Network. How about now, you still wired in? You issued 24 million new shares of stock. Directed by David Fincher, this movie is based on the true story of how Mark Zuckerberg, played here by Jesse Eisenberg, created Facebook, or stole Facebook, depending on how you want to look at it. Because at the heart of this film is the conflict of whether Zuckerberg stole the idea from the Winklevoss twins. However, what's undeniable is that Facebook now has billions of monthly active users, so seeing how it all began from a college dorm room is surely inspiring for any entrepreneur. How quickly your whole life can change, because Zuckerberg literally became a billionaire by 23. You signed the papers. You set me up. You're gonna blame me because you were the business head of the company and you made a bad business deal with your own company. This is gonna be like I'm not a part of Facebook. It won't be like you're not a part of Facebook. You're not a part of Facebook. My name's on the masthead. You might wanna check again. As well as being a motivating and interesting look at the origins of Facebook, the movie's packed with real life lessons for entrepreneurs. So much so that I made a video dedicated to some of those. Such as the importance of not prioritizing profit right away if you wanna scale quickly. You can check out the full analysis after this list is complete, but don't go anywhere yet because next up is an absolute classic. Number 17, Forrest Gump. My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Do you want a chocolate? This Tom Hanks film is regarded by many as one of the greatest films of all time. It's the story of a humble man with noble intentions who accidentally becomes incredibly successful from living his life the best way he knows how. He wins prizes, becomes a professional ping pong player, takes up running and even starts a million dollar shrimp company. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Whilst Forrest was many things, he's not exactly your typical entrepreneur. So why is this on the list? Well, the way Forrest tries his hand at so many things, approaches things so positively and gives it his all, those are all key to any entrepreneur. It's an inspiring film about what one person can accomplish and how just like Forrest, you've got to keep on running. Number 18, Moneyball. Okay, people who run ball clubs, they think in terms of buying players. Your goal shouldn't be to buy players, your goal should be to buy wins. This film is all about strategy and shows the importance of data and clever planning. In the movie, Brad Pitt's character has to build a winning baseball team despite losing their best players to competitors and having far less money. Been on the job long? First 
job in baseball? It's my first job anywhere. Wow, congrats. Thank you. <laughs> first job. Whose nephew are you? It's an underdog story that reminds us that if we're innovative and strategic enough, we can all go up against the big guys and win. Even if you have zero interest in baseball, you can still enjoy the ride with this film, and it may even get you thinking about how you could approach things a little differently in your own business. Number 19, Middlemen. You're not fucking with that thing, are you? No, man, those are subscribers. I'm getting rich. Middleman is the story of Jack Harris, one of the pioneers of internet commerce, as he wrestles with his morals and navigates a sea of con men, mobsters, drug addicts and porn stars. Despite only being an hour and 45 minutes, all kinds goes on in this film. It's more about me than my son. We all know what you do for a living. You deal in pornography. I run a billing company. But you deal with pornography. Like any hotel chain, like any satellite or cable company, I, I'm just a middleman. I'm not gonna play semantics with you. You're a pornographer. You peddle pornography over the internet. At the heart of it all though, is two guys who come up with the idea to accept credit card payments via the internet so that they can sell porn. As simple as that may sound, they were the first company to do real-time credit card verification online. And so they became the middlemen for countless other sites looking to do the same thing. Once they brought in straight-laced businessman Jack Harris to help make the business legitimate, they got to a point of handling $1.5 billion in transactions every year. It's a crazy ride and just shows how one idea can change everything. Number 20, Blow. You are the man, huh? Who takes 50 kilos and make them disappear in one day. Actually, it was three days. Now, if you really want an entrepreneurial story mixed with crime, then Blow is for you. Starring a young Johnny Depp, it's the story of a young guy who becomes an international drug trafficker who ends up working with Pablo Escobar. Although this film and several others on this list are about illegal schemes, you can't deny from an entrepreneurial perspective that there's something motivating about watching a rags to riches tale of someone essentially building an empire and going from nothing to super rich. I'll teach you how to smuggle drugs. You don't know dick about smuggling no drugs. Oh no. I was arrested in Chicago with 660 pounds of grass. I think that qualifies me. So, once again, it's not a film to look up to for any sort of moral guidance or business plan, but it is a film you don't hear mentioned much these days, yet it's definitely a film everyone should see at least once, especially if you want to build an empire of your own. Number 21, The Internship. You got us a job at Google? Well, it's not actually a job. What do you mean not an actual job? Well, it's an interview for an internship that has a better than not chance of materializing into a job. This comedy movie starring Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn shows two sales guys at the top of their game whose industry is declining, leaving them unemployed and out of place in a digital world. So they decide to try and get an internship at Google, which, as you may have guessed, is harder than they anticipate. They have their phones now, they're out. Something catches their eye, they want to take it, but then the photo's just sitting there. What if they take that photo and instantaneously put it out there on the line and they share it with their friends? That's Instagram. The film takes place over a series of challenges as they try to win an internship for them and their team. However, there's a bunch of reasons this film would appeal to entrepreneurs. Not only is it an inside look at the culture of Google, it's ultimately a film about reinventing yourself in an ever-changing business landscape. 22, Glengarry Glen Ross. A, B, C. A, always B, B, C, closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Ever wondered why the phrase always be closing became so popular in sales and business? Probably not. But if you did, this movie is the answer, and it's filled with several other sales gems that have a lot of real world practicality to this day. The money's out there, you pick it up, it's yours. You don't, I got no sympathy. You want to go out on those sits tonight and close, close, it's yours. Not, you're going to be shining my shoes. The film examines the relationships and disagreements happening behind the scenes of a New York City real estate office and has become well known for the powerful monologue given by Alec Baldwin in the movie. 
And for that alone, it's worth a watch. And it's sure to get you pumped up and motivated to go and sell more than you've ever sold in your life. 23, Wall Street. Read Sun Tzu, The Art of War. Every battle is won before it's ever fought. Yep, I'm talking about the original Wall Street movie, back when Charlie Sheen was a young and up and coming actor, instead of whatever you'd call him now. The story is based around Bud Fox, a young stockbroker who's envious of the incredibly wealthy Gordon Gecko and the unlikely partnership they eventually form. I've been in this business since 69. Most of these Harvard MBA types, they don't add up to dog shit. Give me guys that are poor, smart, and hungry, and no feelings. You win a few, you lose a few, but you keep on fighting. To many, this is one of the greatest business films and highlights both the emotional highs and devastating lows of being a part of the business world. As well as all these films that include stockbrokers, you can guarantee there's a lot of money involved. And although that is inspiring, the film is also a reminder of how essential it is to have some form of moral compass when it comes to making difficult business decisions. 24, Jerry Maguire. Are you ready, Jerry? I'm ready. Just wanna make sure you're ready, brother. Here it is. Show me the money. Let's look at it. I think I'm taking two. After being fired from his job for exposing the alleged illegal practices that exist in his profession, sports agent Jerry Maguire starts his own agency. He wants to disrupt the industry and do things more fairly. However, he manages to find only one client. We want more from them, so let's give them more. Let's show them your pure joy of the game. Let's bury the attitude a little bit and show them... Wait, you're telling me to dance. After all these stories of corruption and crime, it's time to root for the good guy. With hardly anyone on his side, Jerry Maguire is the perfect exemplification of staying true to your vision and values and how powerful that can be. 25, thank you for smoking. Smoking is a uh, personal freedom that is enjoyed by countless Americans. And although I can no longer smoke due to my injurious kidnapping, I, uh, I believe in protecting all freedoms. I believe in the right to live. I believe in choice. This film follows the efforts of Big Tobacco's chief spokesman, Nick Naylor, who lobbies on behalf of cigarettes using heavy spin tactics, whilst also trying to be a role model for his son. Sony has a futuristic sci-fi movie they're looking to make. Cigarettes in space. It's the final frontier, Nick. But wouldn't they blow up in an all-oxygen environment? Probably. But it's an easy fix. One line of dialogue. Thank God we invented the, you know, whatever device. Produced by Peter Thiel and Elon Musk, this unique film definitely packs some lessons in both human psychology and marketing, which are gonna be very useful for any entrepreneur. If you focus less on what Nick is actually selling and see how he is selling it, it may even help you consider how you can position your own products differently and connect with your market more. 26, Billionaire Boys Club. I used you to con Frank. Wake up. It's called a convincer. This film got kind of buried when it got released because of the ordeal with Kevin Spacey. In fact, due to the very limited release it had, the domestic opening weekend box office earnings were just $618, the lowest of Spacey's career. Now, I realize I'm not exactly selling it here, but this actually was an interesting film. It's the biographical drama of a group of guys in LA during the 1980s who establish a get-rich-quick scheme that turns out to be deadly. If you've ever been at all curious about how a Ponzi scheme happens, well, you definitely don't want to miss this one. I find it very interesting. Are you familiar with the commodities market, Mr. Levin? Am I familiar with the commodities market, Dean? Hmm. Why don't you tell me? But once again, despite the illegal methods, any film where you're seeing characters build a business and create so much wealth is bound to get you motivated about doing the same, just hopefully in more legitimate ways. 27, The Intern. Now I'm gonna ask you one of our more telling questions for all of our interns, so I want you to like, this is the one to really think about, okay? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? When I'm 80. Not to be confused with the internship from earlier, this film instead stars Anne Hathaway as the incredibly busy CEO of an online fashion site, and Robert De Niro as the senior intern they hire. 
This heartwarming comedy definitely proves you can teach an old dog new tricks. In fact, the film shows a perfect balance of the younger and older generations both teaching each other in equal measures. I just don't want her to think that I can't do my job and I need an intern to help me. Okay, you're not going to want to hear this, but I heard women who sleep less than seven hours a night gain 38% more weight than women who sleep more than seven hours a night. What? If you're ever feeling like you can't keep up with all the changes in business, especially with the rapid pace at which technology evolves, you may very well enjoy this film. It's a reminder you can always learn something new. And of course, any movie set in a thriving internet e-commerce store is always going to be worth a watch for any entrepreneur. 28. The Devil Wears Prada That blue represents millions of dollars and countless jobs. And it's sort of comical how you think that you've made a choice that exempts you from the fashion industry when in fact you're wearing a sweater that was selected for you by the people in this room from a pile of stuff. If that last movie didn't fulfill your Anne Hathaway fix, she also stars in this classic, The Devil Wears Prada alongside Meryl Streep. On the surface, it's the story of a young graduate who becomes the assistant to the hugely successful but demanding editor of a high fashion magazine. You have no style or sense of fashion. I, I, no, no. That wasn't a question. But this is also a film about power. Meryl Streep's character commands an entire industry at her fingertips, and there's a lot of messages in the movie about hard work, knowing your industry, and success in general. Number 29, Risky Business. Sometimes you gotta say, what the fuck? Make your move. I beg your pardon? Encouraged by his father to start a small business as it'll boost his chances of gaining acceptance into Princeton, the main character, played by a young Tom Cruise, uses his entrepreneurial skills to make some very quick money by leveraging simple supply and demand, by opening a brothel in his parents' house while they're away. So, how we doing? This R-rated comedy may seem a little dated now as it was released back in 1983, but it's a pretty classic film that every entrepreneur should see at least once, as in a weird way, the movie encapsulates what it is to be a young, aspirational entrepreneur. Number 30, Office Space. Hello, Peter. What's happening? Uh, we have sort of a problem here. Yeah, you apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that, I, I forgot. Peter, a software engineer, is tired of his boring job and being stuck in a cubicle whilst his boss fails to show him any appreciation. So, he makes a plan with two of his friends to plant a virus in his company's system. So you're stealing? Uh, no, no, you don't understand. It's, uh, it's very complicated. For a lot of aspiring entrepreneurs, one of the big selling points of entrepreneurship is the idea of ditching the 9 to 5, leaving that dead end corporate job they hate and just doing what they want to do. And that's why Office Space is such a great film for entrepreneurs. It'll remind you exactly why you don't want to settle for a typical job and how important it is having your own freedom. Now, whilst that does conclude our list of movies for entrepreneurs, don't click away yet. Firstly, Pause this video and let me know in the comments which is your favourite out of these 30 movies. I'm genuinely really curious. Or if I missed your favourite entrepreneurial movie, comment that below as well so everyone can go check it out. Secondly though, if you want some motivational movies about success, I've put together my top 10 list right here, as there's some really great films that aren't exactly entrepreneurial, but still very inspiring for any entrepreneur. So I think you'd enjoy these ones too. Click right here to go and watch that video now, and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Cheers.